What's up, y'all? It's your boy Ricky Romance, and um, I just wanted to update you guys um, with my brother. Um, he's currently um, in a hospital um, in Atlanta, Georgia, um, <clears throat> and uh, he's at Grady Hospital. Uh, he's um, he's there, and uh, I want you guys to send prayers to him and well wishes to him. Um, as he has to stay there at the hospital and uh, he's preparing to undergo um, a surgery for um, his wrists. Um, so, yeah, um, you guys, um, just, you know, uh, me and the family, we just asking that you guys uh, pray and we appreciate everybody that does. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, what's the name? Just, just tapping in with y'all, you know what I'm saying? Um, I want to say shout out to my family. The surgery went great. Um, well, there's still more, there's still more steps to take to, to, to get this, uh, this, uh, this broken arm fixed. I just talked to my cousin and um, I'm waiting for him to call me back. Wait for him to call me back. Wait for him to call me back. So, um, I'm in Kansas City. Um, and I just left, um, I just left, um, the St. Luke's Hospital. And, um, yeah. The powers that be. Um, so I hope all is well. Hope all is well. Shout out to, um, yo, just shout out to, like, really, like, yo, when, you know, when family really step in, they really, like, give you everything that you need to, to. I know he ain't got one eyebrow. Got get to where you gotta get. Move my, um, uh, one of my favorite movies, it was called Gone Girl. And it was just like, you know. Man, that movie's crazy. Just do everything you can to get back. So yeah, we at the we at the Bone Fishing Grill. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm um, I'm waiting for my cousin to call me. Back. No, my account hasn't been hacked. You know, there's just you know as we as we prepare to go to the next level, we, we all just got to make sure that we tap all the way in. You know what I mean? Uh, shout out to my boy Damon Dash. Shout out to Kanye West. Uh, shout out to just all the great people out there. Kim Kardashian, the Ray J's, the Marcus Houston's, the Jerome Jones, the, 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 the you know, the, yo, yo, like all my people, bro. I realized that I made the biggest mistake and I was misled. So I'm asking that. When you get a chance, hit me back up so we can continue to talk because, cousin, like, um, we didn't finish our conversation. And the Lord loves, uh, loves you, loves me. And, um, you know, it's a beautiful, it's a lot of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cars out here in, in, in Kansas City. And, uh, I mean... I'm just waiting for my cousin to holler at me. Infinite love, life, and good vibrations. I don't think Chris Stokes want anything to do with his cousin. I'm being honest. Look at listen to what look at what he put on his post. Once you replace negative thoughts with positive ones, you'll start having positive things and stuff like that. <laughs> I really don't think Chris Stokes will, pro I don't know, never know the signs you ask God to show you and look who he got. His family. Yeah, I think he excluded you, Rasby. I don't know at this particular point because he, you know, he's a, a content uh, movie producer on uh, Tubi, right? 
So, I don't know if Raz be trying to get a piece of the pie. I don't know what to believe at this particular moment. You know why I say that, you guys? The reason why I say that is because it's a lot of money to be made. And it seems just looking at Raz B that he's been left out. Look at Marcus Houston. Look at all. Okay, put it this way. Look at the rest of the family members and see how they're living compared to your boy Raz to the B. You get what I'm saying? So I don't know what to say about this, especially having a broken arm or wrist and being in front of the bone fish grill. <sighs> I can't make this stuff up. Can't symbolic like I don't know what. But yeah, uh, do y'all think that Chris Stokes should forgive his cousin? Like, do y'all think that Raz B told the lie? Was he telling the truth when he said all those things that he said about Chris Stokes? And if it's true, why is he taking it back? Like, what would he gain out of making this apology? I would like to know. I, I, what is to be gained? But I don't think Chris Stokes really want to deal with him anymore. I mean, but they they cousins, but that don't mean nothing. I don't think Chris Stokes really want to deal with him. 